Our second behind the wheel is BMW Z4 M Coupe. Now this vehicle is very technologically advanced. BMW was one of the first car companies to integrate the iPod into a vehicle. And James Bond has several BMWs in his lineup, including the Z3 and the Z8. The Z4 M Coupe will move the brake pads closer to the disc when it starts to rain. And this is a vehicle that's got great technologies, including a flip-up navigation, and it's able to go 0 to 60 in under 5 seconds. Here's Dennis and Ian with a first look at the 2007 BMW Z4 M Coupe. The first category for the Z4 M Coupe is Q Factor. It's a gadget or tech score, and it's a Bond car, so it gets packed with goodies. And it's got rain sensing wipers, it's got stability control, traction control, and then if you lay down a phone booth and pack it with 10 speakers, you're going to get a great audio system as well. And don't forget the heated seat. True. Has that too. Now, double Vano system in the motor helps the 3.2 liters make 330 horsepower. That's one thing that BMW knows how to do, man. They can tack every single piece of technology they have and put it even the, in the smallest cars. For us, between the pop-up Navi, all the little things on the inside and the tech for the motor, I mean, it's got to be a high score. It is. 4.5 for Q-Factor for the Z4 M Coupe. Curb Appeal is the next category for the Z4 M Coupe, and I really like the new rear end on this car. It's broad. It looks like it's an animal. I mean, it's sitting back on its haunches ready to pounce. Well, here I go again. Chris Bangle, I'm sorry. I love everything you do with automobiles, but then you take that giant Z down the side and that hockey puck right in the middle of the fender. I mean, if I had all the money in the world and I could take a BMW Z4 M Coupe, Take it to a body shop and just shave all that off and just make that beautiful flowing line down both sides just be uninterrupted from lines and creases and weird marker lights. I mean, it'd be the best It's called the emblem of the car. I know, but it would be like the best looking BMW maybe of all time to me. You look at all the things in the showroom floor, nobody else has a big hockey puck on the side. Stop putting emblems down the fenders like it's a Camaro from 1967. They have all these great things and then they just kind of Fumble the ball just a little bit. Now, don't get the tar and feathers ready for me, okay? Listen, it's one of the best looking cars in the market at this price range, and certainly in this classic car. But for me, it could just be so much more. So much more, right? Dennis wants to take it to a body shop and do some alterations to it, but we still gave it a 4.25 for curb appeal. Nada performance for the Z4 M Coupe, and power is provided by a 3.2 liter inline six. Gets you zero to 60 in five seconds. You've heard the term from the movie The Road War, last of the great V8 interceptors. Well, you know what this car is? It's the last of the inline six cylinder motors from BMW that has all their performance technology wrapped into one thing. Nothing else sounds like this in a BMW. The ripping six cylinder sound of their double Vanos 3.2 liter inline six is just absolutely music to your ears. Like I said, 330 horsepower, 262 pounds feet of torque adds up to getting right up to that 155 mile an hour limited top speed. Now, if you uncorked the thing and maybe had a European model, maybe you'd go 171 or, or more like the Porsche Cayman S, but it's just so much performance. Yes, you can't use it unless you're close to a racetrack or you decide to rip through about $1,000 with a rubber each and every time you drive it. Now, there's one thing that this car knows how to do and it makes you put a smile on your face when it comes to performance. You look at all of the performance attributes that it has, the great braking, the great handling, the top speed, and the way you can go zero to 60 in the blink of an eye, it's just music to your ears. And for that, we give it a four for performance. Now to fit and finish for the Z4 M Coupe, and this car and all the performance that we've talked about transfers that performance and feel to the driver inside the cabin with beautiful creature comforts as well. Well, sure. I mean, it, it does have all the regular stuff, power windows, power door locks, tilt cruise air, all the little things that come along with this level of automobile. But it's more so the way the BMW seems to be able to pick materials so well. Now, I call it a big plank of aluminum. Now, in the M Coupe, it does have this huge piece that goes right across the front dash. It looks absolutely spectacular. And they've done such a good job of finishing off all the little things. Now, when I get into a car to judge this category, I look under the carpet. I look under the seat. I look at all the little things that you, you just don't want to see. You look under the hood. They've done such a good job of letting you see the motor, but not see a big wire harness here and there that kind of takes away from the aesthetics. Overall, for me, it's got to be one of the best fit and finish the scores we'll give. Yeah, absolutely. Because of that, we give it a 4.5 for fit and finish. Finally, drivability for the Z4 M Coupe. And 
They build themselves as the ultimate driving machine and deliver once again. Yeah, you have to look at all the different categories. Q factor, the pop-up navigation, things like the rain sensing brake system. I mean, it just really brings it all together. Performance, the last of the great V8 interceptors, forget that. It's the last of the great inline six cylinder motors. Fit and finish is there. Everything from the way that they finish off under the hood to the way that they finish off the interior. And finally, this is where it has a little bit of a nod. Drivability is tough to score in a car like this because if you take it from the way that it would be experienced at a track or open roads in the Autobahn, it would be almost a perfect five. And it is pretty perfect in our eyes, but getting in and out of the vehicle is kind of a chore. I need to lay off the pizza pies to get my six foot two. What you got to do is get a cherry picker in your garage so that it could just swing in. You don't have to uh, grease up and get in. Well, maybe if I just keep my waistline to something below 40, that might help too. But when you have to take in I-5 traffic in Lake Oswego in the middle of the day, man, it's a little tough to live with this car. On the track, it's almost a perfect five. Overall, yeah, because of those day-to-day -day knocks, we have to drop the score a little bit. 3.75 for drivability for the Z4 M Coupe. Let's see how Dennis Neal scored the 2007 BMW Z4 M Coupe. As expected, a great score in Q-Factor, 4.5. In Curb Appeal, another fine score of 4.25. And in Performance, it got one point off perfect at a 4.0. Fit and Finish, almost perfect at 4.5. And finally, it's only loss in drivability at 3.75. The total score for the 2007 BMW Z4 M Coupe is 21 out of a possible 25.